Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and Motorola has launched the Motorola One Vision in India and it is a part of the One series that Moto introduced last year. It sits a little above the Moto G7 offering some interesting new features. Speaking to Moto, we learned that the One series exists to take one particular drawback or pain point and address it in an affordable package. Last year, it was better battery life. With the One Vision, Moto wants to offer a better camera. Let's quickly check out the key features of this new smartphone. The Moto One Vision looks tall and slim with a glass design and a punch hole display. Thanks to that, the screen stretches almost to the edges. We particularly like this bronze color variant. It has a subtle gradient, which we think is one of the best designed by Moto. The phone is also taller than the average smartphone thanks to the 21 is to 9 display. The aspect ratio is not new and is what movies are shot on. Because of it, the phone isn't very wide. It's easy to hold and use in one hand. The 6.3 inch IPS LCD display also supports HDR content, but that's only on YouTube for now. Moto said they're working with Netflix to bring support for Netflix HDR as well. The display otherwise looks really good. The backlight is placed at the bottom, but you wouldn't really realize that without knowing. It's a bright, well-lit panel. Next up is the camera. The One Vision houses a 48 megapixel Samsung GM1 sensor that shoots in 12 megapixel by default. You also don't have the option to shoot in 48 megapixel with Moto justifying you don't really need such high res photos on your smartphone. While that's debatable, what we liked was the fact that the camera is much faster than other Moto devices we have tested in the past. We are still looking into the image quality and we will talk about that in another video, but the phone does seem to do a decent job in taking photos. There's a dedicated night mode in the phone that basically deploys a multi-frame processing technique to improve exposure and sharpness at low lights. The result is definitely worth checking out, but we wouldn't go as far as comparing it with more expensive flagships like Moto did. Finally, you get a clean Android experience with the promise of regular security updates for the next three years and guaranteed updates to Android Q and R whenever they are out. The phone also brings the signature Moto actions like a chop action to turn on the flashlight or twisting the wrist to turn on the camera. Inside is the Samsung Exynos 9609 SoC coupled with 4GB of RAM and 128GB storage. You can let us know the features you want details on in our review and we will do our best to cover them when we review this smartphone. As always, for more videos like this one, you can subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any new videos. Thank you for watching and we will catch you in another video.